guy, you want to build a team, you want to get to NMV, or maybe you want to get to third positions. So you need to understand how to share the business. Now it's really not hard. You probably actually promoted this business or anything else and not even realised it. You probably shared things on social media without even realising it and actually not got paid for it. So can you put your hand up for me if you've ever shared your Costa Coffee, your Starbucks, your Cafe Nero? So many people. Have you ever shared a film that you've been to see at the Yeah, so many people. What about your favourite outfit? Have you ever put that on social media? So many people. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. All we do is share. And don't overcomplicate this because all you need to do is just share the opportunity. And when I say share, I mean share the success. Share that you're here today and just remember, share, share, share. I want you to do something every single evening. I want you to look on your profile and ask yourself, did you share the opportunity today? Did you share success? Did you share events, community, which I will go over later? And each individual joins for different reasons. Not every person joins for the same reason. So can you just shout me out a few reasons why you joined? Why did you join? <laughs> but it goes to show everyone joins for different reasons. So don't just share the reason why you joined. I mean, I joined because I was 16 and I living the best life. But I don't need to keep sharing that because it's other freedom, extra money. You know, you need to make sure that you're sharing all aspects of the business. Some people even, you know, destroy the site or so. So you need to make sure that you're sharing every single aspect. And also, what would you need to see? If you wanted a dream team, so in your mind, and this is something that I've always thought about, what would my dream team be? What would I need to post to get my dream team? And that's something you really need to think about. So if you were scrolling on social media, what would you need to do and see to join my call? What would you need to see? So you need to ask yourself that question and make sure that you're putting that content out there. It's super important. And also, work close with your We've all got uplines for a reason. You need to make sure you stay close to the fire because your upline is the person you can follow. And you need to watch the success because success leads to groups. So please make sure you're watching your upline and you're working really close with them. So, what you can share. So there's so many elements to this business on what you can actually share. Now, for me, I joined obviously because I don't want to go on holidays and prepare for that. But again, there's, there's so many different things that you can share. You need to make sure that you're posting variety. And this is something a lot of people are guilty of. So make sure you're sharing things about side hustle. When I say side hustle, some people join this business just for a side hustle. Just for a bit of income around their full-time job. So you need to share that. That might not be your situation, but you need to share that. You'll have an opportunity group. You'll know someone. You'll be having pictures today with somebody. Find out about their journey. Go and take a picture of someone and ask them, why did you join? You know, you get content, create content and start posting about these things. Community, there is no reason on this earth why no one today can go and post about community. I mean, look at this room, absolutely packed. Um, time freedom is massive, you know. I joined for time freedom. I absolutely hated my job. I, I had, this was my fourth job. I hated working, I just hated it. So for me, time freedom, if you ever want to share my journey, Feel free, because that was a big part of my journey, time freedom. Financial flexibility, which, you know, a lot of people are money driven. The people, the reason people join is for money. So you need to make sure that you're sharing about financial flexibility and what this business can do for you financially. Obviously all compliance. <laughs> <laughs> also, paying the bills and cost of living. Put your hand up if this is an increase in your your bills, your mortgage, whatever it could be, your gas, your electric. So this is a big thing at the moment, so you need to make sure you're talking about that. Is, do, can you put your hand up for me, Juice Plus has paid your bills this month. There you go. So I'm just sharing something, you know, thanks to this opportunity, you was able to pay your bills this month. It's such a big thing right now, and this is what I'm recruiting a lot of people with as well, talking about this, the cost of living. Also intensive, Ria. There's no excuse, Thailand has so many incentives. So make sure that you're sharing about these incentives and you're putting it out there, you're creating content and you're putting all of your social media and being excited because don't just say, yeah, you can go to the real. Because it's not exciting. It needs to be an opportunity to my voice. 
but it's like, oh, we're going to be out. So make sure you share the incentives. And also give them a small win. So I think when Club 24 announced the <laughs> in their car, you know, that's a small win, but that might resonate with someone. Someone might see that. Do you know what? I could fill my car up yesterday and I couldn't, I couldn't fill my car up. Seeing that on social media, maybe I should join. It's a pound, you know? You've got to think what people are thinking and what they want to say. Also, personal growth journeys. Put your hand up if you've been on a personal growth journey here. You never sign up for it, do you? But it happens. <laughs> it's one of them. So, you need to share that. I mean, Claire was sharing something really powerful on that opportunity call we've got about her confidence. And Amy, and I know Tracy, you've been on like the biggest you know, personal growth journey. I've watched you grow as, a, as people so much, which is so proud. But the thing that people need to see, because some people don't join for all of these things, it could be to become better, to be, better, to be more confident. So make sure you're sharing that as well. Also, this is testimonials. I mean, we've all seen testimonials flying around. You need to make sure, again, you're sharing, sharing, sharing. It's so, so important. And promotions. So many promotions. Go on to, you know, the Juice Plus page. You'll see promotions on there. SP, Party Plus, SC, QSC. You'll see all the team's promotions at the end of the month. Make sure that you're sharing them. Because, again, this is what you can share, and this is, what people, this is why people are going to join, ultimately. People are not going to join if you just took the good morning post. You need to be sharing this content. So, what you can use to promote the business, and I actually think this is really, really, really important. So you need to be doing all these things. If you're not doing these things, I will tell you now, you're really going to struggle to recruit. And I know that because I've been there and not done these things. So it's super important that you create posts and duplicate your stories. So when you post, your audience, you're always going to see your posts, but your audience on your stories might see that because your audience on your stories and your audience on your posts are two different audiences. They're not the same people. There's not, you see like you post a picture of like eight to four views on Facebook and your stories can have 600. It's a different audience. So it's all about mirroring and duplicating. So whatever you post, I would say to my girls, mirror to your story. You can link your Facebook to your Instagram. Mirror everything. Everything is just about mirroring. And reels, like, you know, we know is like the queen of reels. So, and, and look how many followers that she's got. She's top in recruitment, like, this is important. Reels are so important. You reach an audience that you'll never be able to find. So you need to make sure that you're doing reels. Talking stories as well. And the reason they're good for recruitment is because talking stories show your personality to build trust. Would you join someone's team if you've never seen her on your socials? You wouldn't, right? You just wouldn't. You need to see someone, you need to hear someone's voice. And the first thing that I get my teams to do, when they say, right, I want to come up with them, right, go and do a talking story, and then that can lead on to our life. Because you need to show people your personality and you need to build that trust. You're not going to build that trust just by posting yourself, unfortunately. You've got to show yourself as a person, who you are, and just talk and show your personality. Also, TikTok. A little story, I've been like so against TikTok. I've been like never been on TikTok. All my friends was even outside of Juice Plus was like, you must go on TikTok, you'll smash it. I was like, no, I hate it, never doing it. Everyone kept telling me to do it and then we went to the NMD meeting and Jane, Jane was like getting a control order. I was like, what on TikTok? And I thought it actually does it works. So I went home, so I'll post a few videos. First one got like 100 likes, I was like, great. You know, 100 views, I was like, oh, this does not work. Kept posting, boom, open up my TikTok, absolutely blew up, like absolutely blew up. 150,000 views, 1,000 comments asking for more information. I'm actively getting two to three orders every single day from TikTok. So when you think it doesn't work, I'm that person telling you it works. And you have to be consistent. I don't know if it's look, I don't know what's going on. I just hashtag post the video, put some trending sound on, post it, and it just gets viewed. And I don't, I don't understand it, and I don't put time into it. But it just works. So if you've never tried TikTok, please do. try TikTok. Have some patience. Don't be like me. Don't put any effort. You know, keep, just keep chipping away at it every single day. Also, lives. Make sure you're doing lives, but not just lives on your own. You need to show people that people are real. So if you're sharing someone's success, 
You need to make sure that you're bringing that person on with you. So get them on the two-way line and show people. So if you're the promotion team, you know, Tracy went to say, if you went to say, we're doing lives together so people can see, I'm not just saying, oh, they, they did this. We're actually getting them on and showing people this is the person that actually got promoted. So make sure you're doing two-way lives. Hold, you should be able to pull on your story every single night. If you want to smash it, absolutely. I really take on from the prison to and product each day. So you need to make sure that's actually making you work smarter and not harder. You go to sleep away from the morning, three people ask you about business, you can message them. So that's really important. Every single point here is important. Also, tag people to build trust. If you're going to post today about someone that you've seen that's inspired you, don't just post that and also tag them because you'll, you'll find that people will become a page of that. It builds that trust with the people and think, oh, it's actually genuine, like this person's real. So, the next one is confidence and, oh, oh, I think I've missed this one. Oh, no, yeah. Confidence and energy. Now, this is actually really, for me, this is key. People say to me all the time, you know, how do you recruit so many people? What is it all about? And I genuinely, I was that person, and honestly, Emma can tell you now, I say, you know what, we're on the team, I can't recruit, I used to throw myself a bit for it all the time. And wasn't, I didn't have this energy, I didn't have this confidence, I just felt sorry for myself, and no one would like the post, no one would join the team. But it's all about you, and you need to check your confidence and energy. I am so passionate about this business, and I can confidently say to anybody, come and join my team, it's incredible. I can sit on a live video, and I genuinely, through my bones, I love this business. I've got energy, I've got passion, I've got confidence. And that's what you need to show. So a little tip before you go live, if you're feeling you're not quite confident or maybe, you know, you're not a big energy person, I'm not saying everybody has to be. Before you go live, the first 10 seconds, I want you to stop thinking about what this business has done for you. I want you to really like rev yourself up and think about all the success or what you've seen around you. Are you more confident on the business? Have you, have you, have you hit part of plus? Have you hit SP? And you need to channel that energy and get excited before you go on a live because confidence and energy is everything. And that can also be built through self-development. So self-development is like massive in our team, like massive, massive. I think every single person that joins the team listens to self-development. It's just like a woman. And that will actually help you so much for your confidence and your energy and how you portray yourself, you know, on social media. Because if you're working on yourself all the time, your confidence and your energy is going to get higher and higher. And work on yourself. Like, I have been on the biggest personal journey. I'm still on one now, I'm constantly on one. It never ends. <laughs> you know, but you've got to work on yourself for you. And that just comes down to confidence and energy because over the years, I would never have stood on this stage. I mean, I have to say to Emma, don't ever ask me to go on stage, don't have to do that, don't have to stop on video, I'm never doing anything. You know, it's proof to the pudding, but it's because I've worked on myself and it doesn't come overnight. But the more you work on yourself, the more you will feel confident and the more energy you will have. Also, knowledge is power. I always say this, success means what? Exactly. So you need to make sure you're on call. You're listening to people that inspire you, people that are super smashing it and make sure that you're getting your knowledge. I mean, there's so much knowledge in this business by just looking at people, listening to calls, getting on, listening to opportunity calls even. This is just so much. So you need to make sure that you are, if you want to grow as a person, that you're utilizing all these calls that we have. You're utilizing all these, I don't know, events maybe that you need to go to, all these team meetups, all this, because this is important. Also voice notes, probably the reason why I have no voice. <laughs> I voice note every single person. Like, Voice notes is the best thing ever. It takes time, it shows you're a real person, and it really gets your personality across. So I actually probably, 95% of people I sign up, all through voice notes. The second they reply, I'm like, it's just so much easier, and I just think it shows your personality. And don't be scared to be direct. I'm probably like the most direct person I know. I mean, I will literally, if someone tells me that one percent that they will sign up, they're getting the link, no matter what. So it shows you confident in what you're talking about. If you know, if you know someone's really interested, don't beat around the bush, get on the internet because they're already halfway there. They could be having a really crappy evening, sat down think, what was it that you all said? You know, I'm just going to fill it in and just have one of the moment. So 
make sure that you are super confident in sharing your business. And this is really, really important. They're all really important if you want to recruit. But events help build your business because it builds trust. I actually, when I signed up to do spots, I didn't know the company name. I literally had no idea. I actually didn't think any of this was, I thought it was a slap back street alley and I had no idea. And then I went to an event, but well, I didn't go to an event, I got dragged to an event two weekends. No problem, but was always in my favourite event. And straight away, I was like, oh, this is real, this is cool. <laughs> actually, people get promotions, and it builds trust with your audience because I've hosted a bar on my social media, and people were like, oh, some kid actually part of something that's real, you know, it does actually exist. So make sure that you're, you're posting about events because it does build that trust. Do you know what, after every event, that's always recruit. Because people see this. I mean, look at this. This is powerful. People see this. And it shows them the community. I mean, we've all just been putting this on the little frame. You know, it shows the community and, and, the, you know, and the opportunity. You know, it's not before you're not doing it. You need to show the community. You need to show this. Because when people see this, they realise it's so much bigger than what you just see through your house. And lots of content, I mean, all the pictures, I see people left, right, centre, taking pictures. Recruitment posts, you can use these for recruitment posts. Get pictures of people, go up to people, don't be scared, can I have a picture of you? You know, you can show people stories as well. You take a picture of someone today, you can get their business testimony, you're going back to what I said earlier, you can share that on social media. And it builds your confidence, meeting people, getting to know people, it really just builds that confidence. You know, I was so, so nervous when I came to the first event. And I was like, just took me on the I was like, all these people. But then the second event, I felt way more confident in going. And now you just can't get me away anyway. So, you know, it recharges them. This is something Emma always says. It's like being plugged into a charger. And you come in and you go away, you're like, I'm coming for you. You know, it's so important. So I don't want to just give you tips on, you know, what you can do today and how you can recruit. I also want to explain to you what to do when you get a team because this is really important. So please take a picture because this is everything. You know, we have a great success in our team of getting people in and getting them promoted. And this is something jump to me that way. So I wanted to share with you what to do when you actually get a team member. So the first thing that I, and I am like so, so certain on, this is why I do have, and don't forget me wrong, I've been there last two weeks, the aliens have come out of the other team again. It happens, but lately I just feel like they're on a bit of a roll and a lot of people have been recruiting. Second, I can get them on a call and kind of talk to them, get to know them. I kind of get them to tell them why they join. So I kind of make that about them. And then once they've said that to me and we've had that call and they go over their goals, they then realise how much they want this business. So the key to you know getting a good new team and getting them going is good training and a good call. Get them on the call, even if it's five, ten minutes, get them on WhatsApp and have a good chat. And check in with them daily, like we've all been there, we've all been there. I think it's important to make sure that they feel really, really supported. So check in with them in the morning, how are you getting on? You know, do you need any help today? And give them feedback on their social. I mean, when I started, I got absolutely ripped all the time because the pictures that I used to put on social media was like the picture of this thing and you'd be black background. And it was bad, by the way, I don't know. It was really, really bad. And then was like, hey, man, you, you need to stop doing that. And I just couldn't stop myself from doing that. I don't know what was wrong with me. And it just looked so bad. I still got the audience, I don't know how. But it's important to give feedback and let your team know. You want them to get off the best start. You want them, their socials to look good. You want them to get orders. You want them to get team members. So you need to give them feedback all the time and get them on the products. Once they're ready to find the products, you know how it goes. Our mum, sisters, their socials have been amazing. They've got their own results. And that's really important because once they're ready to find them, smash the business anyway. And give them daily tasks. So I give my new business daily tasks that do this. Share the opportunity for tonight. You know, go and message some story viewers. Just get them used to it and just kind of like take their hand and move them. And set them a task that they come with them and touch on earlier. So I always say to people, if someone's like, oh, I really want to, I really want to come up with something. I'm like, fucking story or lie. 
there are two things I will always make people do. And once they've done it, do you know how amazed I feel? I mean, is anybody here not going to lie? Put your hand up. No, no, honestly, it's with all the things, there's nothing fun, there's nothing to worry about. Do you know when you do it? You will feel so amazing. And duplicate down everything you know. This is something I was talking about on last week called Thursday. Everything that we know has been duplicated down, and that's why the business works so well. So whatever you are showing you, duplicate it down to your team members. You cannot go wrong, the system works, believe me. So just duplicate everything down, get people to events which have just touched on, and keep them excited. You want excited team members, you want teamers that want to come to events, you want teams that want to smash the business. So keep them excited and don't overcomplicate it and don't overwhelm them. So some apps that I use to create my content, I'm very, I don't do anything very good. It's just Canva, Mojo, Pop-Fold, Infosize, InShot. I use Canva for, say for example, you want to go and create a post about Rio. Just go on Canva, type in Brazil. It's going to give you those templates, it's genius. Everyone's like, how do you make that for Canva? Honestly, it's not hard. Mojo is really good for talking stories, but also real ideas as well. Unfold, I do all my promotions on there. Infosize, so back in the day, I used to do a picture that were really nice. This is now my favourite app. And also in shop, you can, I got it from Harriet actually, you can like speed things up, slow it down, really look at like making a shake or doing a video. Um, and then the next one I wanted to go over is books. I think it's books the next one. Books that have really, really helped me with recruitment. And I, do you know what? I actually, I don't read books normally, like I've never been a book person. If you want to smash recruitment and you want to throw your mind, these books, now, my favourite one is the one that I found out about recently, the compound effect. Absolute genius book. But make sure you're growing, you know, growing it and you're working with all these things. And this is the one as well, this is very new to me. But all these things are growing knowledge, you're going to grow you in recruitment as well. Even if you don't read it, just listen to an audio. But yeah, that's pretty much it, so I hope that's all about.